Have you ever felt like your mind is a browser with a hundred tabs open? I know I have. Millions of people like ADHD, like me, experience this every day. But what happens when you can find something that can close those unnecessary tabs and sharpen your focus? Imagine having a tool that not only organizes your thoughts, but also helps you channel your energy productively. That's what ADHD medications can do. But the journey to find the right one can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. And what exactly should you be expecting? It's one of the most common questions I get from my patients when we start the whole conversation about ADHD meds. So today, I'm unlocking the true power of ADHD medications, and you won't believe what I've got for you. And who am I? My name is Dr. Salman Aziz Mirza. I am triple board certified in adult psychiatry, child and adolescent psychiatry, and addiction medicine. And I have gone on my own personal ADHD medication journey that unlocked a part of my life I never knew existed. ADHD, as we know, is like having a race car brain with bicycle brakes. Stimulant medications, commonly Ritalin and Adderall, are prescribed to give those brakes a much needed upgrade. But how exactly do they do that? These medications work by increasing neurotransmitters in the brain, dopamine and norepinephrine. Think of dopamine as the feel-good messenger and norepinephrine as the focus messenger. In ADHD, these messengers are like whispers in a noisy room, often getting lost. What stimulants do is turn up the volume of these whispers, making them clear and audible. But here's where it gets tricky. It's not just about turning up the volume, it's about fine tuning it to the right level. Too low and the chaos continues. Too high and you risk unwanted side effects. I speak from experience. When I started on my medication, after I finished my psychiatry residency by the way, and was working, it was like someone finally gave me the remote control to adjust that volume. Suddenly, the whispers of focus and calm became audible. Tasks that felt like running a marathon became manageable jogs. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It took time and patience to find that sweet spot, the right medication, and the right dosage. I tried a couple, went back and forth, before finding my current regimen. For many with ADHD, daily life feels like a constant battle with distractions, disorganizations, and impulsive decisions. It's a world where focus is fleeting, and chaos is the norm. But what happens when you introduce the right medication into this mix? For me, it was a game changer. Improved focus and concentration. I was no longer zoning out during lectures or talks, or worse, one of my patients would talk to me about what was going on in their lives. My ability to multitask, such as talking and typing, allowing me to get all my documentation done consistently and efficiently. Because ultimately, that's what being a doctor is all about. Organization skills, tasks that used to overwhelm me, like managing my schedule or keeping track of important documents, became manageable. One of the most obvious and easily quantifiable improvements was in my credit score. I struggled with getting payments on time, or just totally forgetting to make them, which we know has its consequences. As soon as I started medication, the autopay boxes that I kept saying I would check, well, they got checked. And let's talk about impulse control. We've all had moments of making hasty decisions. But with ADHD, it's a frequent struggle. Medication can be like a gentle brake on a speeding car, giving you the moment you need to think before acting. With patient care, one of the lessons I give anyone who works with me is to talk less, listen more. Anyone in the mental health field can attest to that desire to jump in and tell their patient what to do, but that's not always the best thing for them. So does this mean life becomes perfect with medication? Not quite. It's more like you've been given a set of tools, tools that help you navigate life with more clarity and control. I tell parents often, the medication doesn't make their children smarter, but it allows them an opportunity to show off what they know. In my journey, these changes didn't happen overnight. It was a process of adjusting and learning how to make the most of this newfound clarity. And that's what you can expect too, a journey of transformation, one step at a time. Medication for ADHD, like any medication, comes with potential side effects. These can range from physical to emotional changes, and even risks of dependency. It's important to know what you might be up against. Physically, you might face insomnia, loss of appetite, or even an increased heart rate. I remember nights when sleep felt like a distant dream, and days when food was the last thing on my mind. It's a balancing act, managing the benefits of the medication with these physical reactions. Then there are the emotional changes. Sometimes you might feel a little bit flat or experience heightened anxiety, actually. 
It's like the medication quiets the mental noise, but can sometimes muffle the emotional melodies too. Along with this, some people can experience a crash when the medication wears off, which can leave you tired and drained, physically and emotionally. And some people can get more moody or irritable, or in some cases, even down and depressed. So make sure to let your doc know about any of these. And let's talk about the elephant in the room, dependency and misuse. Yes, these medications have the potential for misuse. It's a path that requires careful navigation, constant self-awareness, and open communication with your healthcare provider, and more importantly, yourself. So how do we handle these challenges? In my journey, it was about constant monitoring and honest and open conversations with my doctor. Adjusting dosages, changing medication, and integrating other therapies were part of my strategy. Remember, the goal is to enhance your life, not to add another layer of complexity to it. As we near the end of the video today, let's keep in mind a key aspect of ADHD medication, setting realistic expectations. This isn't just about what the medications can do, it's about understanding the unique journey each person undertakes. ADHD medication isn't a magic pill, it's a tool, and like any tool, its effectiveness varies from person to person. In my own journey with ADHD medication, it was never a straight path. Some days the medication hit the sweet spot, optimizing my focus and productivity. Other days, it felt like I was back to square one. It was a process to find the right medication and the right dosage, a process that required patience and persistence, as well as understanding what my needs were. As a mostly practicing Muslim, fasting during Ramadan is something that I've been doing since I was 12 years old. For me, I ended up switching from immediate release Adderall in the morning with this quicker onset but shorter duration of action, and then having to add an espresso later on in the afternoon to taking Vyvanse right before dawn the start time of the daily fasting window, to take advantage of its longer duration, but also its delayed onset of reaction. It's worked for me ever since. And just as important, remember it's not just the medication. It's about creating a supportive lifestyle for a complete and holistic approach. Regular exercise, balanced diet, and adequate sleep. These aren't just good advice for anyone, they're especially crucial when you're navigating ADHD. Supportive therapies like counseling or ADHD coaching can also play a significant role. They offer tools and strategies that medication alone cannot provide. So building a toolbox, not just filling a prescription. And this is what you might expect too. Your experience with ADHD and medication might be a smooth sail, or it might be a road with a few bumps. The key is to understand that this is normal. It's part of the journey. And here's the reassuring part though. With each step, you learn more about yourself, about how your brain operates, and how to better manage your ADHD. It's not just about the medication, it's about growing in self-awareness and self-management. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Continuous dialogue with your healthcare provider is crucial. They are your co-pilot in navigating your, this path. Wrapping up, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and comment with any questions you might have. And feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. Let's learn from each other. I know that I read each one and learn from you all. Your engagement helps me to create more content that ultimately, hopefully, makes a difference. Until next time, take care and be well.